I'm Annie. I'm Jane. And what school do you go to, Annie or Jane? I go to Shorewood. Shore, Shorecrest. Do people from Shorewood and Shorecrest even get along? Yeah. Yeah. For the I most mean, part. we get along. It's a friendly, friendly rivalry. Did y'all first get along? Yeah. How was the vibe of YOLO kids when, because like half of them are short crest, right? And the other half are short. I think it's definitely more. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty even it now, actually. Fun. Yeah, it's yeah, fine, though. I think it's We're good. Fine, yeah. There's no feud going on? Mm, this football season, right? Football season was a little rough. Because we won, but it's. Uh, yeah. The first time Secondly, in how long? Shrewood won for never. the first time in like 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> like 15 years. We literally crushed them. I'm not yeah, That's here. true. I was there for the game. Yeah. I actually, I actually watched there? it. Yeah, I was oh, there. The, well, because yeah. we had to do a dance afterwards, so I was actually there oh, for a little I bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was oh. a really fun were y'all, game. You all weren't at the dance, were you? No. Did we even work? Like, I don't think y'all even. Working? I didn't no, think I don't y'all know if worked. We were working that actually. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, there was no way we were. I think that's the old, the older yellow crew. No, no, but I remember talking to you about it. I think we had our interviews around that time, but I don't. I think we were working. Yeah, I don't know. Because I know Callie... It was October, right? Yeah. Or, I don't know when we I got hired. Know. What? Yeah. You don't remember when you got hired? I d- it was definitely, like, before November. Like, or in November. Wait, remember, Jane, who interviewed you? Same with same Sarah. People. Oh, it was the same were people? We, we we were, were no, we weren't group. together. Yeah. We weren't together. How would the yeah. interview go for you? Do you think it went smooth? Um, or were you kind of tripping I, afterwards? Like, I'm usually, like, good at interviews. Cause I, like, I go airplane mode. I don't remember anything. But I was yeah. scared. Like, I was <laughs> stuttering. You just on autopilot. Yeah, I just talk. kept talking. Yeah, I said autopilot. I said airplane. <laughs> <laughs> airplane, <laughs> yeah, airplane, airplane mode. Airplane mode when you shut everything off. <laughs> Her brain just sounds like well, she just keeps talking. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. As I've said before in our issue, so this is my last podcast here. Um, I'm going, you know, I've been working here at the, well, just for the city in this department in general for about the past two years now and um i had some really really fond memories working here for the, the past two years i've actually had fond memories about when i used to go here but it is now time for me to depart from you kids but i'm very very glad to have been here so i want to start off first by talking about some of the fond memories that you've had here at the teen center some of the fond memories that it's been able to give you like it's given me so, for example, I used to come here because uh, I used to live here when I was younger for a couple years, uh, in middle school and then freshman year of high school. When I went to Shortcrest, and this this was the spot. It's different now, um, but during the two thousands, this was the spot. You know how it was today at the event? It was like that every weekend. Like it was just pop. Oh was, yeah, it was like that all the time. It was crazy and hectic and fun. Yeah. Um, you know, and this was a place to kick it. If you wanted to meet up with a girl or a guy that you weren't able to meet up with outside of middle school, then you'd come here <laughs> so, so you hey, could hang out. <laughs> exactly. It was the spot. You know, we used to have uh, the dances here a lot more often. Yeah. So that was a fun thing too. It'd be like, hey, let's go to the dance, you know? But I've had some really fond memories here and some fond memories that I took back when I went back to California. So, what are some of the fond memories that you've had here during your time, since you are in the midst of your time? Uh-huh. I think today was really fun. That's How about just working for the city in general? So, not just here, mm-hmm. but just any kind of events that you did since you've been employed here or since you've been going to the events that we've been having. Because it's not just here at the rec center. I mean, we got mm-hmm. events at Ballinger and at the middle schools and high schools. I love working at the middle school, which is so weird. Mm-hmm. But, like, some of the 7th and 8th graders, like, I took some of the 7th graders to camp, so it's weird mm-hmm. seeing them, like, in middle school now, and they're like, oh, my God, like, it's so hard here. And I'm like, oh, it gets so much worse. What, what middle school? Einstein. Like, I worked oh, at Einstein. Einstein. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And then, like, the 8th graders now are, like, asking me questions, like, what classes they have to take, and I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. That's so sad. Mm-hmm. Like, that was me so long ago. So it's, like, weird that I'm in a place where I'm, like, some are transitioning into middle school and some are transitioning out. So I'm like always doing something, like talking to someone about it. I'm like, oh. About so that sweet. experience going Yeah. On. Yeah. Like I give them my advice and I'm like, oh wow. Mm-hmm. Like if I had that advice, that would have been so nice. That's a trip. That's definitely a trip. Mm-hmm. I feel like that when I talk to y'all about college. Really? And going in. Mm-hmm. How about mm-hmm. you, Jen? I think for me, just in general, meeting new people, because I haven't had, like, I haven't been connecting with people since, like, my freshman year. And now you haven't like, been connecting with people? Yeah, like, because I know everybody now. So it's, like, yeah. it's not, like, at school at least. And then now, like, I was put in a situation, like, where I'm constantly meeting new people. Oh, and, I get what you, you mean. I mean okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and I really like that. So you're just hanging around, like, the people you already knew. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. You weren't forced to, like, meet out or mm-hmm. venture out a little bit. Yeah, I did freshman year. And then after that, it was just, like, yeah, like you I just your knew group, everybody. And then you kind of, like, stay in yeah. that group. And, like, 
Mm-hmm. At the rec, like, I knew Logan and Sam and them, but I never really talked to them. Mm-hmm. But now when I see them yeah, you see, I used to see, Yeah, you came around. Before you started working there, I see you here all the time. Yeah, like, I came mm-hmm. here with Callie all the time. Because, like, she, they'd be like, oh, like, come in the rec, mm-hmm. blah, blah, like, sign in. And now, like, whenever I see Logan or anyone at school, like, I always, like, stop by and say hi to them or they stop by and talk to me, which is, like, I don't know, it's kind of sweet. Like, mm-hmm. we're friends. You didn't have that before, right? Yeah. Before like, I had my core group and, like, a few, like, stragglers, but, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm jealous of you guys. I'm <laughs> jealous of you guys. You got your whole world what? in front of you right now. Like, once high school ends... I know, oh it's a weird Once so high school scary, ends, though. it's going to blow your mind, like, yeah. how different the world is. Yeah. Yeah. And I've said this multiple times on the podcast Because I think but... everything, it seems like everything is so big now, mm-hmm. and, like, next month, it won't even matter. Well, it's, it's high school is weird, because it's, like, especially when you go to a big high school, right? Because short yeah. curse and short are pretty big high schools. Yeah. Because, so when you go to a big high school, like, things... You, you think the world sh- is structured around the way it's ar- cool yeah is. yeah the idea that you, that you have about how life is and mm-hmm. the world is you think yeah. it shape it kind of yeah. shapes from public school mm-hmm. and then once you leave that it's so and different. you realize oh wow that's a very short I mean it's, high school is only four years yeah. Yeah. Your life. the average human being lives to about 85 I want to say about 80 85 mm, I don't know. yeah it increased it used to be like 70 yeah. but it increased like 85. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's increased a lot. Um, so four years out of eighty five years, you yeah. know, it's it's very small. But it's definitely a time yeah. where I feel like you grow a lot. Mm-hmm. Like if I think back to my freshman year, mm-hmm. I would not be where I am today. Yeah. Like I never would have thought that I don't know. Like I'd be the person I am today, which is so weird. But I don't think I would. I think you're gonna have a blast outside. Mm-hmm. Like once. Not saying you're not having fun at high school, but I think once you hit to the college and like that really lifestyle, that mm-hmm. adult lifestyle, you get a taste of it. It's, mm-hmm. it's but you're doing it the right, like, cause you're not, you're gonna, well, you're still deciding where to go. Yeah. But if you stay, if you do go to Bothell, are you gonna stay with your parents? Mm, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. If I do go to Bothell, my parents want me to stay with them just cause it's a little bit cheaper. Oh, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. yeah. And then in the end, like. I basically have tuition somewhat free just because in-state and then my parents were part of this, like, college-bound thing they put me in. Mm-hmm. And so it wouldn't be that bad. It would be almost if I'm paying tuition. But at the same time, it's the same to go to Western or University of Portland. Like, it's the mm-hmm. same exact price for all three schools. So was- See, what you might have a struggle with um, is... Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if you'll have this struggle. I know I had the struggle with still abiding by rules as a minor like my parents rules or the rules that i had oh, to abide yeah. by by the house when i was like 18 19 20 i'm like man i don't want to, have to do all this mm-hmm. still like yeah so that's why when i was 18 i was out yeah a big <laughs> i moved it to the dorms my first year go somewhere else yeah. just to be like out of my mm-hmm. parents house because it's like oh my god i'm adulting mm-hmm. really? but at the same time it's comfortable because because being an adult is is very jarring and hard yeah like being alone like you have to balance finances mm-hmm. and, and money and yeah like my sister figure, she went to new york the second she turned 18 i was yeah. And then she was like, oh, my God, adulting is so hard. And then my brother stayed home with us for a year while he went to UW. And he's like, oh, like, it's like an easier transition. Yeah, it so definitely like two, is. two very different paths. And I'm just kind of like. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I took the route where I just moved out when I was 18. Yeah. You know, I just went straight to college. And it was, it was definitely, it was definitely tough. Jane, where are you, where are you deciding on going? You going to go to Shoreline? Uh, uh, I'm going out of state. I'm either going to Grand Canyon or Howard. Grand Canyon? Grand Canyon, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. She has so much fun there. University, uh, I don't she know. loves it. It's so pretty too. Yeah, and they're pretty uh, like affordable. That's, That's far. I know. It's not Arizona's not that bad. It's, it's pretty far though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a. I mean, you're right here. You got to go all the way down here. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, a road trip yeah. there. It's fun. To Arizona? Yeah, me and my family I do road trips every too. summer. Oh, you do it every summer? Yeah. See, I only did it once. Like, uh, we drove uh, from Seattle down to L.A., then from L.A. to Arizona. No, like, Arizona, not. L.A., then L.A. back to the bed. That's, like, I the one thing that. my family always did. But we haven't done it in a while because everyone's, like, gone. Mm-hmm. But when all three of my, like, all my siblings and I were all together, we would go on a road trip every summer. we drive to California to go to Disneyland, SeaWorld, and everywhere. Family trips are really fun. Oh, my God. I, I had fun with my family trips, but those car rides... They're brutal. Yeah. <laughs> The, the car rides, especially if it's so packed. Mm-hmm. That's you when know, it's I fun, though. When there's a lot of people, I know, people it's and I, fun. That's the only time I really got close yeah. with my siblings. Mm-hmm. And like, even now, we just not really talk <laughs> that much. But You're the youngest, aren't you? I am the youngest by a lot. 
Oh, yeah. Jane, are you the youngest? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest? Mm-hmm. I have three younger siblings. So, yeah. What are the ages? Two, 11, and 16. Two, 11, and 16? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. 16, oh, that's not bad. Almost 17. She's turning so like a, just like a year. She's junior or something? Yeah, junior. So she's just one year younger than you. get along with your siblings? Huh? You get along with your siblings? <laughs> you so get along with your siblings? The two-year-old, I get along with the two-year-old. <laughs> Not the other. Since <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, you're so cute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm no, it's, it's, it's tough sometimes to take care of your siblings. Yeah. I know my sister but, growing up, she hated me because she had to take care of me all the time. Yeah, that's why I so don't get along with my siblings. So she would always be so mean to me. Like, no Is that way. where you get your saltiness from? Yeah. Probably, honestly. My siblings hated me growing up. Really? Yeah. Why they hate you? I think, I don't know. They just never liked me. Yeah. They would always tell me I was an accident child. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's messed up. And I was like, oh and I was so confused as to what that meant. Like, I asked my mom one time, and she was like, you just weren't planned. Oh, <laughs> your like, mom oh admitted it. Oh my god. And then I finally realized what an accident child was. Uh huh. And then, you know, don't worry, like, we're glad you're here. I'm like, I got hit with the that. The big age yeah. gap here, like, I, I, don't, I don't think you're really prepared to have another child. I got, yeah, that's a shame. I got hit with that, too. Jan, how, how good are you at stonewalling? What does that mean? Like, having something going one ear out the other. Like, oh. if somebody could be just talking to you and you're just completely, oh. like, like, you look them in the face, but you're just not there. At school, Christian, I'm basically. so good at that at school. Are you guys still annoying? Yeah, I, I don't pay attention. Like, I look at you and mm. I look like I'm paying attention, but I don't pay but attention. But what if that. someone's, like, bothering you, you know, like, if they're trying to get on your nerves, are you good at stonewalling? Just kind of just not even... If somebody's talking to me, like... Just zoning out? No, I just, like, I do something else and then they'll stop talking to me. You know what I mean? Like, I uh. avoid, I don't want to be rude. So I just do something else, and then they okay. like they I, keep talking, but then I'm not really yeah. paying attention. So I, I like uh huh. Uh-huh. I only ask because you're the oldest. Yeah. And oh no, that that's easy. <laughs> stonewall your siblings, yeah. Because yeah. I had to stonewall yeah. all the time. You get really that's good easy. at doing my, it. Yeah, my They'll brother? be screaming at you like mm-hmm. young you're just and like. You're just unfair. Yeah, 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 that's easy. That's a whole different. I thing. just completely just going on uh-huh. about whatever I'm doing. I mean, my brother's <laughs> like that. He's so annoying. It's like Jane, let me in, please, Jane, Jane. You know what happened today at school? <sighs> he like sometimes uh-huh. I listen, obviously, because I have to be a good sister, but. He talks. It's it's so it's tough when you're the oldest. Yeah, it's it's tough when you're the oldest. Uh, it's yeah. it's really hard. I, I I got so good at stonewalling. I got in trouble one time. Wow. My mom got mad because she caught me like doing it <laughs> too much. So she's like, "Why don't you talk to your brother or your sister? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? They're talking to you. Why aren't you saying anything?" I'm like, "God, they always talk." Yeah, exactly. They always like, they're, talk. They never they're never not talking. Like, <laughs> respond yeah. to everything that they're saying. I love my siblings though. I still do it to them sometimes. They drive me crazy. I want to say though, so. Before we can we go on, because I actually want to ask about the event, but first mm-hmm. and foremost, I do want to say real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, so th- just talk about the podcast and what the intention of this podcast was. Mm-hmm. So when when me and Austin first created the podcast, um, we actually weren't that serious about it. We we're kind of just, you know it was like a we we're just spitballing it was just ideas. Like an idea, yeah. yeah, well we're trying to we're talking about like different ideas that we could do at the rec mm-hmm. uh, to kind of spice it up a little bit. And then I mentioned we we're talking about Joe Rogan and I brought the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, and how I used to do a little of my own podcast before. And we were kind of just like, oh, yeah, that'd yeah, be cool, I guess. You know, that'd be fun. I'm like, yeah, maybe we should look into it, maybe do one or two. Uh, kind of went off. But then more and more, me and him started talking about it. And uh, I remember, for me, you know, I, I've, been, I've done youth work for a very long time because I feel that youth have very strong voices. Mm-hmm. Right? Youth, kids, teenagers, they, they're, there's almost an innocence to them, which means that there's like a clear outlook on things. Like they have an experience. Yeah, they're not yeah. they're not they're tainted by by yeah. how life is for the most. Not well, it's I shouldn't more say black that. And white. Well, there there's just there's a little more purity to it, you know. You because the older you get, the more you lose your innocence. Unfortunately, once you become an adult and get older and older and older, you're placed in very difficult circumstances. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. when you're a teenager, or a kid. Um, you have this kind of purity and innocence to you, so where you could look at things a, a little more clear, and have a voice and articulate things in a way that that even adults wouldn't be able to see. Now, of course, there's a part of that as being naive, you know. So there's a little bit of naiveness to it, but sometimes that naive, still that naive perspective can still be good. So for me, what I wanted to do was I just wanted to give a platform to have teens be able to talk about certain things and kind of voice out what they wanted to do. 
Um, and I was just supposed to be just a guide to, to get to get y'all to, to voice out what you want to voice out. Mm-hmm. Not too long ago, we did a podcast with, uh, I think it was about a month ago, we did one with uh, Solomon and, and Greg. And that was a really big one to me because I'm like, oh, wow, we got Solomon, mm-hmm. who's a young, big, loud, <laughs> intelligent, mm-hmm. sarcastic yeah. black male. Mm-hmm. And then we have Greg, who's been a cop for as long as he has. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was really also important. Very sarcastic. <laughs> yes, yes. He's a, he's a bit of a jokester himself. Um, and I, I hope, even though I'm leaving, you know, to, to go on to other things, I, I do want this to still continue, which is why I wanted to announce that Marlena, who's been on the podcast, I think, once or twice, um, is hopefully going to be taking over. I actually just got the news today. I, I had no idea. Um, I was looking at Arf to kind of take over, but he's he's like me. He's busy with internships and stuff. Um, so Marlena is going to be the one to take over, and it's going to be different, you know. But I want, I'm sure the essence of what the podcast is is going to stay the same, and it's 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 focused towards you all, so that you could talk, and this so that the the spotlight's on you, and so that you know how to articulate and communicate in certain ways. Um, and that was just something very, very special to me. So I, I hope that it's able to continue. And I hope that that even on my departure, the enthusiasm is still there. Maybe it gets bigger. Because I'd love to come back like a couple years and be like, oh, wow, they're still, they're still doing this. It's on Spotify now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love for that. I'd be, nothing would make me more happy than to see it just continue to go. Um, and I know y'all are probably not going to be here. College, so this probably might be y'all's last podcast as well. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah. Cause oh, yeah, it's freaky time. Yeah. yeah. And once I only got a year left of college, then I'm moving back to California. Oh, so yeah. it's coming. It's coming up soon. Wow. It's coming up soon. So tonight's event, which is actually I'm happy that because tonight really kind of reminded me of how it used to be. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. Yeah. Back when I used to come here. How tonight's event go? Oh, I thought it was fun. Yeah. What I made it, it fun? I don't know if you've ever had... I mean, we've had dances with, like, a live DJ. Mm -hmm. But it was never as... Like... I don't know if people were as into it as today. Mm -hmm. Like, people came specifically to see these performers, like, even if it was just their friends. Mm -hmm. Which I think was cool. Like, oh, they're super friends. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet. It was nice to see all those people, like, that I don't really... Actually, I see some of them on the, like, regularly, but... It's nice to see them, like, all come together. And all the same people, too. Well, they're from different high schools, weren't they? Yeah. Like, yeah. Shorewood, Shorecrest, and Linwood? But there the was thing Mariner is, a lot of these people are, like, Ingram. interconnected. Oh, there's Mariner and Ingram, too? Yeah. So, my friends from Mariner were here, and I was, I was like, I know her. Ingram's not too far away And I couldn't, there. like, tell who it was, and so I, like, zoomed in on the camera to take a photo, I and did. I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> I know her. And I was like, it's so funny. Really they all know though. each other, which mm-hmm. is weird. Everybody knows each other. Like, Everybody here that knew each other? Yeah, everyone like, here like, somehow. Knew. So how come they, there was all this talk about a fight or a fight that I was supposed to say? No, I think somebody was joking about it, and then they thought it was for real. Yeah. Oh, is that what happened? Because as soon as I walked through the door, mm-hmm. it was like, whoa, 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 there might be a fight. Oh. You know, <laughs> thank God you're here, DJ, we can use security. I was like, there's not going to be a fight here. No one's going to fight. Yeah. No one's going to be, no one's going to show up here to fight like that. That's true. Yeah. You plan on having another one? It I probably will. I feel like I probably don't think it's going to go as well. Yeah, maybe next year, but I don't think it will go yeah. the same way well they did Because a lot of the people who came were, like, seniors, I guess. Really? Those were all seniors? A okay. majority oh of them God. were seniors, no, or they them, were already... Yeah. Were, they were, like, a lot of people, like, I definitely knew they were, like, 19, 20. Some, yeah, like yeah, not like a lot. Yeah, no, there was a couple of them I was looking when this come through the door. I'm like, so what high school? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> was what like, high school what? this boy What's go in to? Your water? Yeah, I was looking at. I'm like, I don't think you went high school, homie. Yeah, they're all like SCC yeah. and like Edmonds Community College mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Even then, I'm not really. Mm-hmm. I'm tripping on it. Edmonds really. Edmonds is a nice school. They have a really nice campus. The actually. community college. Edmonds in general is just really nice. Yeah. This is a really nice area. God, I'm going to miss y'all. What's your favorite memory things? at the rec? Yeah. I hear what he said, right? You're right My here? favorite memory yeah. at the rec? Which, like, working here or actually being a participant here? Working here. Um, wow, there's so many moments that are pretty fun. 
Well, doing this podcast was a really fun thing to do. Um, I, I felt I felt useful. Mm-hmm. I felt really useful, actually, like I was doing something. Uh, aside from the podcast, because the podcast only really surfaced the last year I've been here. Um, yeah. I think one of the fond moments I had, I, really the summer times. I, I like what happens over the summer. Um, so both summers I worked here. Both the the local camps we would do, the wild wave trips we do, but also here, like the things that we would do here, mm-hmm. um, people would actually show through. Teens would actually show through, and it started to look a little bit like the old times with with the teen center. So summertime was always really really fun to work, and um, yeah, I think both summers actually it was pretty fun. I had some fond memories there, and then as a participant when I was younger, um, so. There was an there was another there was two branches so there was this one then there was another one over next to Ballinger Homes, oh. so I had a lot of friends at Ballinger Homes and we would just walk from from B Homes uh, yeah. in the back way and we'd end up getting there where those high schools are at where the old high school is oh no it got torn down so it used to be an old high school where that stuff got torn down mm-hmm. yeah and that's where the the wreck was or maybe it was across the street that's where the the other wreck was so we used wow. to go over there a lot but yeah that was that was some fun times I had some really really fun times. I got in a fight too one time. That was when? Waldo was there. Oh my! You knew Waldo back then. Yeah. He Bro, did you see Waldo's mustache and those yeah. kids? Oh I knew I knew God. Waldo back then. I knew Lawrence back then. Amanda back oh my then. God. That's so weird. Um, who else? Who else was working? So Austin wasn't working here. It was Lawrence, um, Waldo, Amanda was still working there. Oh my God. And I think that's it. I think that's all the people that actually was working at the rec back in the time when I was in middle school. And, and, and come in here or in freshman oh yeah. and come in here aside from that it was, a, it was a lot of people anyway so that does it for tonight's episode and my last episode of Richmond Real Talk uh, I really really enjoyed being able to do this we kept it up for about a year now and I'm I'm happy to pass the torch on to whoever else is going to take it over and I'll be coming back to visit come back to see how it's going you, I know both of you are going to be gone, most likely. Yeah. Are you working in the summer? Uh, maybe. Are y'all working tomorrow? Y'all working tomorrow, are you? I'm working tomorrow. I have, I'm doing it. I don't know, actually. I think I'm doing an, an hour or two tomorrow. When is your last day? Uh, Next Friday. So I'll be here. So I got tomorrow and then Friday. Is, and those will be my, I'm having my yeah, last two I shifts. Work two hours tomorrow. It's crazy. That's crazy. What? It did. Yeah, I can't say for the past two years I've been working here though it has changed a little bit more. Really, like better, gotten better. Yeah, yeah. There's been a little bit higher participation and Yay, you know we did our job. more people coming in a little bit more, a little bit more diversity. Uh, the lo- the the usuals that come here switched up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Some um, people come less now. Weird. There's there's a few people that used to come in a lot, but they haven't they have been showing up. But that's okay because other people have been coming in, or people have been coming in. And I hope that you both continue to still bring people in here. I would love to see it like how it was today, but yeah. like just in general, just that be on a habitual yeah. basis. Yeah. Like I said, like it's a lot more yeah. fun when there's more people here. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for tonight's episode of Richmond Real Talk. Thank you so much. Go ahead and tell the uh, listeners where they can find you. Both. Um, yeah, my Instagram's Annie with an extra E and then S-U-H. Mm-hmm. Annie and S-U-H? So it's like, Annie yeah. Sue? Annie Sa. Annie Sa? Yeah. Anisa? Okay, Anisa. Okay. That's you, Jane. My Instagram is Jane Hill Merriam. Good luck spelling that. <laughs> and this is your future former host, DJ. Wow, that's kind of that's kind of a contradiction, wasn't it? Former, this is your now, now former. former. Yeah. This is na- <laughs> retired. This is now your former. Folks. I know I'm retiring. Mm-hmm. I'm retiring. Anyways, that does it for tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of this.